The answer to which planet is closest to Earth may not be as obvious as you first think. Now, if the question is which planet can get closest to Earth, then the answer is definitely Venus. But it's not quite as straightforward as that, and I'll show you why. Now, we'll use my mug of coffee here to represent the Sun, and these counters to represent Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Now, I must point out, this isn't to scale, but it does show the right relative distances. Now, if the planets were lined up like this, yes, Venus would be the closest planet to Earth. But the planets move around the Sun. In the time it takes Earth to do one full orbit, Mercury would have done one, two, three, four and a bit. Venus would do one and a half. And Mars will have only done about a half a, an orbit. Now you can see after one year, the closest planet to Earth is Mercury. So after two years, after Earth has done another lap, Mars will be back up here, Mercury will be over here, and Venus will be about there. So now you can see the nearest planet to Earth would be Mars. And after three years, Mars will have done half a lap again, Mercury will be over here, and Venus will just be about there. So now you can see, this time, Venus is the closest. So the answer to which is the closest planet to Earth is, well, it depends. It could be Venus, Mercury, or Mars. By the way, the next time they all line up is somewhere over here after about six and a quarter years, but only just lining up. So the question is then, which planet is most often closest to Earth? And for that, I've made a very rudimentary computer simulation. Now you can see here, the planets are laid out like they were on the table in front of me here. The Sun is in the middle, it's not shown, and the planets will move around the Sun in a circle. Now planets don't move in circles, they move in ellipses, but it's almost a circle and it's good enough for this. So let's start it going, and you'll see that to start with, Venus is the closest planet. But then Mercury takes the lead, and it stays as the closest planet for quite some time. Mars doesn't get a look in for ages. In fact, it's over two years before Mars gets to be the closest planet to Earth. Now let's move this forward a bit. Let's say about 10,000 days. It's about 30 years. Now you can see in the bottom right there, it tells you the percentage of time that Earth is closest to each planet. So the answer to which is the closest planet to Earth, well, on average, Mars is the closest 17% of the time, Venus is closest 36% of the time, but the closest planet to Earth, on average, 46% of the time, is Mercury. Cheers.